Airflow. Airflow is king. This will help bring our technicians and our companies up in service uh, to the next level. And I've been watching this market ever since the very first iteration from the Energy Conservatory came out. And I actually got to use one of these when I was at the PG&E Training Center here in California, in Sacramento, Stockton, Sacramento, can't remember. Um, but that was the first iteration. So this is the second generation, you could say the 2.0, like HVAC 2.0. Um, so this is something that will probably become mainstream and every technician will have one of these on his uh, vehicle one day but right now it's uh still trying to get the technicians up to the level uh, but this you'll find will be much more convenient than uh, using pitot tubes or your vein anemometer reading at uh readings and when i was at i think uh laney college too oh no we did transversing we actually had to use the vein anemometers uh, for the students to learn at um laney college I believe they didn't have the first one or they weren't using it yet. They had one, but they weren't using it. So this will dial in your airflow so you can accurately measure it. And there's a thing when you're using something like a vein anemometer or a hot wire or a little pitot tubes and you're trying to do transverses and stuff like that, new technicians and even old technicians, everyone will do it a little different and they'll get different results. Um, so here's your adapters for your different size air filters that you would be replacing. This unit will go in place of your different size grill outlets. So they have most of the ones I want. They just don't, I have to ask and call about a custom one to see if they have something outside of this normal. Because see, this is, this is getting into the size of my normal. I don't usually do anything smaller than something like that and multiples of those and uh, I actually would like the one for something like uh, 24 inches by 36 inches um, so here's your filter replacement where this goes in and fits in to whatever size filter you're replacing to give you your accurate readings and they're calibrated and compensated for the reduction in size you go read about this and True Tech Tools with Jim Bergman has a bunch of videos on this. Uh, you've heard this talked about on HVAC 2.0. You've uh, heard the guys have uh, on maybe, uh, oh, what the hell is the name of that weekly show that we all watch with uh, Chris and Adam and Joe and, uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> The guy who looks like ZZ Top. <laughs> um, so, look up this product and you'll know where our industry is going. And I finally uh, bit the bullet and invested in it. And uh, this will be another thing that will not be an option in any of my diagnosis or my modifications on a customer's product on their equipment. You, this works along with Measure Quick and no guesswork. Either do it once, do it right, or don't do it at all. And yes, my prices won't be the cheapest. They aren't the cheapest. But this is something that I'll put after an installation when another company came in and installed a unit and it doesn't work right. I will come in afterwards and... I will be using this for the airflow to prove that the airflow is correct in the first place and automatically they will get an upgrade to having the Sensi Predict installed on their system for monitoring and testing and actually watching the output of the unit. So whoever installed it before me, when I get there, this gets installed, I'll do the measurements with this and I'll hand the customer over, okay, Mr. Joe Blow, you, who you just paid $37,000 for to install your system, this is how it's performing now. And I can prove that to you because you can actually monitor it yourself. I'll show you all the test and data work and I'll actually make a copy and hand you over a report. And when I finish working on it, 
it will work like this in B and you'll get a report. And so you could go back and have a conversation with the guy who installed it, this equipment for you and uh, take whatever monetary actions that you want to do because I will test, document and repeat and I'll do a before and after test and this will be left behind on the system working permanently. So there's two ways to go in this industry. You could go down the low road or you could go up the high road. The lazy, cheap or ignorant guys will choose the easiest path and uh, I choose the harder path which in the end turns out to be the easier path. See you guys. Look this up. Go there. I know this is the future.